Hello, it's Les Cowie again of Les Cowie Consulting with another in the session of More or Less in less than three minutes. Once again, I'm presuming that you've previously seen and studied the five layers of the uh, organization as presented in the profit pillar. And if you've not yet done that, well then please head over first to www.lescowieconsulting.com and view those, because I'm presuming that you've done that. So welcome, and in this session, we're going to examine the creative meeting, because essentially, that's what this is all about. It's when the chief executive is squeezed and he gets his functional executives together to squeeze out more from less, rather than first just eliminating staff and taking out the heart of the business, Get together in a creative meeting and see where else you can eliminate cost. Now, the creative meeting has some unique processes in it and some distinct steps. The objective of a creative meeting is to get together in a place where you're not going to be interrupted and then, using whiteboards and flip charts, to discuss the environments, the processes and the concentration of costs in a department and to get contributions from the other functional areas in the organization, where executives in their own functions had not considered before. If your executive team is unfamiliar with things like environment studies, process flows, and ins and out charts, well, of course, the Les Cowie Consulting team would be very happy to help you with that, so at least for your first meeting, you are properly prepared. The processes in a creative meeting are, first of all, the preparation that we've discussed in the uh, previous few sessions, and then the importance of schedule a meeting date, time and the attendees in a place where you're not going to be interrupted. We recommend that you appoint an independent creative facilitator. Because of the professional experience, they know how to get participation from all of the members of your team. You then prepare the creative center, you establish a meeting agenda, and it's important, and here's where a professional facilitator will help you, is to create that creative energy in the room, the anticipation and the excitement to do something effective for the company. The manager then makes a, a presentation of the territory, the process flow, the system analyses, and the cost analyses for each of the departments in the function. And the team can then discuss generally, if it's a small team, or break out into groups where they review and discuss and then come back and contribute. It's important on the whiteboard and on the flip charts around the room to capture all of the contributions, not to evaluate a single one, but to leave that until later. And then to establish action plans so that you can squeeze out more from less in the departments in that particular function.